Hej, det er Morten, uh, Housewife from Frederiksberg Guitar School. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a video on chords in jazz uh, progressions in the 2-5-1 progression. Um, and I will show you 12 different chords that I use on a dominant 7. And this progression that you just heard was a 2-5-1 progression in C major. Hence I play... D minus seven, G seven, and C major, right, and A seven. So a two five one six progression, and that's a very common progression that you should check out because it's in all jazz tunes. I'll show twelve chords, uh, more or less distinguished chords, and uh, they have uh, every chord has a very uh, unique sound to it. So so you can learn them and be inspired in your own playing. I hope. So let's get to it. The first chord I'll show you is, and, and let me say first and foremost, you, you should check out all those inversions, like this is a G7. And I'll only focus on the dominant side of the, the, the progression right now. So, so all the major and minor chords, you will um, you'll have to check out yourself. Or, or I do Skype lessons as well. You can see the, the, you can see the, the notes in the, in the beginning. But here we have G7. G7, the fourth. This is the inversions, the regular inversions of four. Like that was just 12, um, 12 inversions. And um, now more to it, you can also play, play those uh, here, yeah. So, If you don't uh, know those chords yet, you should uh, definitely check them out. And uh, a good way to do that is to see Creative Force by Pat Martino. Uh, that's a great video uh, for chord playing also. Okay, let's get to it. 12 chords that I use on dominance. I use a lot of them much more and some of the, the chords I played in the, in the intro is not even with here. But you can, you can uh, definitely use some of those to uh, be inspired, I hope. Um, the first one is a G7 flat 9 flat 5 and this is this actually this chord because and um, and when you play it in a G G7 it's uh, it has a new a very good sound to it but you can and then you can you can move the bass note away and then For all these chords, you can uh, almost every of these chords you can you you can move them in in minor thirds, minor thirds. So so, and if I were to to make just a, a simple line of that, you can use my D minor chord here and then go to G7 here, and then maybe a C major, right? So. Let's say and then C major and then I could I could go here to the A chord so and I could you I could of course move those and maybe go like this and then I'll back to D, D minor so, so you have some some very find potential to move along those chords. This, this was number one. Number two is a very common one, and this is also known as a diminished chord, but in this context, it's a G7 flat nine. And this is, all, of course, alternate in, in perfect thirds, um, in minor, minor thirds. And it's a small line could be so much time on that one because that's very common. Uh, number three is a G13 flat at nine. And it's, it's like that. And also that one you can use for... You can use in small, small thirds. Actually you can use this and, and, all, uh, and some of the other chords. Also half half holds that. So if I should use that in that context, I could play right. Uh, like that to C major, right? Ok, 
okay? And number four is a G7 sharp nine. And this is actually a very great sounding chord. So again, I could say some D minor. To a, a, I don't know if you saw that, but I go, go like that and, and to C major. Okay, um, number five is uh, almost the same chord, but with but with a sharpened five to it. So so I can and I can of course I can move that one, but. So that's that's a that's a very good chord. You can also make some beautiful lines with it. So hope you can see the last thing here. But okay, um, that was I think was number five. Now we go to number six, and that's a G seven. Flat nine. Also, that one you can move in half, half whole, whole half. But we'll just keep it to uh, stick to the, the the minor third. So and uh, three, four. You can see you can use a lot of dynamics just playing small melodies and then taking these chords into action. The seventh chord is a G13 flat 9. And it's it also has a very beautiful sound. I like to do like that is also a very But you can also, if you're very kinky, you can take the bass note with you. Okay, so it gives me, it gives a lot of potential. So, and here is also the number eight chord is a G seven sharp and nine, and this is a very beautiful sound, but also very kinky. You know, it's a this sound and it's D minor seven to to uh, to this chord G seven f uh, f uh, sharp nine to maybe to to a, a minor uh, major nine. actually have made a lot of those the first chord right I could those things are killer things to check out because they they, they have a, a very good melody to it and that's the most important thing so we'll go to uh, example number nine number nine and this is a G7 G7 flat 9 flat 5 and also this one you can or sharpened 11th maybe you call that so uh, so that's a very beautiful sound and then the sheet G7 flat 9 sharp 5 and that's this chord okay and it's also okay some beautiful lines and then 
we have a G7 sharp 11. And this is called this sound. And you should check out the inversions for, for this one because this is it's not, this is not, I can do it, be, but yeah, I can do that too, like that. But it's, it's more if you play, this is the second inversion of a G7 sharp 11. And then it's, it's the same figure in the ninth fret as it was in the third. So those, uh, and the same, like here, the second inversion is the same as the fourth inversion. So it, that should be, that should be something that you can check out. It also gives some possibilities. Just very simple. And actually, uh, the, the last one on my paper here is a G7-9. But it sounds great if you make that, if you have a D9 and then you go and to a major 9. It's, but you can also move that to a, to a good uh, movement. And just one more that I just uh, thought of that I haven't on my paper is the is the um, is the whole tone and version. Of course, you, you can do like this, okay? But you can also just take major thirds this time, okay? And this gives also a, a beautiful sound. Sorry, uh, it's uh, like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed and, and check those chords out. And uh, remember that if you want to know more about chords or soloing, you can uh, visit my website, which is in Danish, unfortunately, or you can uh, you can write me an email. I do Skype lessons. Hope you enjoy. Bye.